you, you first you get um, sweetness with vanilla. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I'm starting a new series of whiskey tastings and it's the Amrut Single Malt. The Amrut Single Malt is a brand of the same name distillery from India in Bangalore. And I've visited the distillery just recently, just a few months ago. Um, if you want to want to go there, click on the video and you will find out all about the uh, process, how they make their whiskey. And it's actually a good uh, Indian single malt. There are a number of uh, less quality Indian single malts and in India it's actually allowed to make whiskey out of um, sugar molasses. So um, there are many grain whiskies and uh, yeah, sugar whiskies going around in India, but this one is a single malt. Um, yeah, we have four different whiskies on the cask, and today I'm gonna talk about the they are standard bottling. It's the Amrut Indian single malt whiskey. So, um, what do we know about the whiskey? It's 46% uh, alcohol, 46% ABV. Um, that's how much is that? 92 proof. It was stored in oak barrels. They have a very different process of um, getting the the spirit in and out from the oak barrels. So if you want to um, if you want to know that, then please uh, have a look at the this uh, Amru Distillery video. Um, it doesn't carry an age statement. It's not chill filtered and it's not colored. Age statement is um, yeah excusable because uh, the climate in India is just very different and they they can't produce uh, a very old vintage or uh, age statement whiskey because they would pr probably lose enough uh, so they they couldn't bottle enough whiskies okay um, another cool th uh, facts are found on the back of the the bottle um, the Amrut is called uh, Amrut is the word and it's called the uh, elixir of life so that's um, the the um, Indian word for um, what do you call it whiskey whiskey is uh, comes from Gaelic and uh, also means water of life um I have been in Bangalore and I expected a bit worse. I felt, uh, I thought that, that f you would feel a bit more unsafe. We actually walked down the, the street from the hotel after, after the sun went down and we didn't feel unsafe. So um, the media is actually hyping that a bit with all the um, criminality and stuff that's going on in in uh, in India, it's not a it's not a industrial country like uh, America or Germany or France, England, but it's uh, it's relatively good. I went there; it was good. If you go there, check if your your AC is working in the hotel. If the hotel has an AC, if you're there in the summer, don't go in the summer without the AC. <laughs> not fun. Okay, so um, let's have a let's have a try. You, you, first you get um, sweetness with vanilla, but also something more heavier, more heavy. It's a bit of a, a bit of a spiciness. There are wood tones in there. Actually, I know that they don't have. Uh, have European oak, but American oak, but it, uh, to me it smells more like an more like an oak with tannins. Also a bit of a peppery, spicy smell. Does, does pepper actually smell? Actually, it's a bit tingly in your nose. So, mm. I 
and it scored 94.5 points in the Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible. We on the Whiskey.com channel don't believe in uh, ratings. We don't do the ratings because we are very involved with the uh, we are a trading company in Germany, so we are involved with the uh, with the companies who sell the whiskey. So we want to be impartial and don't say, "Oh, can you not rate our whiskey a bit better? Sell more?" So we're not rating them. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty hefty for 46% ABV. A bit of glowing in the mouth going on. Also, a good, good portion of sweetness with the fruits. Hmm, a lot of fruits in there. Fruity sweetness with one. Yeah, definitely the vanilla oak. So you, you got a bit of a, a bit of a hidden bourbon in there. You got a little, a little bourbon in there. Not as as present as a real bourbon, but a little bourbon in there, with a bit more fruitiness and a bit heavier. Mm. Now fades out, so medium to long finish. Well, I have to say, in, in the finish, it's a bit more more of the oak tones. And I have to say the 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 mouth feel is also a bit of a it's a bit clothy, a bit velvety. I'm like the the first sip is a bit bit yeah straightforward, a bit of attacking. Second sip, mm, yeah. develops also a bit, a bit harsh, but not as harsh as the first one. Mm, really, a good whiskey. So it's um, it's a good whiskey from India. Um, they, I think, they are about to um, do a bit of construction, so um, they also um, want to expand more. Um, they are a growing company, so have a look for that. If you find it, give it a try and have a look uh, uh, of new bottlings in the future. So next videos will be about more of the more interesting bottlings. So thank you for watching. If you found this interesting, then please feel free to share this video with people who also like single malt whiskey. Thanks for watching.